hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. Trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out. At last. Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well... Let's start it. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. I've said everything I know. Dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Can you hear? 
hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Please, detective? Sir? Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Five cards short of a full house. Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. So, that's what an Innsmouther looks like. He was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled.
so, the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate.
a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. No, oh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throgmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. What the? Get the... Oh. Who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. 